Our Earth is dimming and it's due to climate change, according to what scientists are telling us. Warming oceans cause fewer bright clouds to reflect sunlight into space, admitting even more energy into Earth's climate system. Warning ocean waters have caused a drop in the brightness of the Earth, according to a new study. Researchers used decades of measurements of Earth shine and light reflected from Earth that illuminates the surface of our moon. Well, I thought the moon uh, obviously was lit by the sun, not the Earth illuminating the moon. <laughs> this is something new to me. Uh, I always thought that's why we have uh, various uh, new moons and, uh, you know, uh, full moons and etc. because the moon is opposite the sun, the sun shines on the moon and that's why we have eclipses when the earth comes between, for example, the sun and the moon. So this is new to me. Light reflected from the earth illuminates the surface of the moon? Well, okay, this, if this is what the scientists are telling us, let's take it as fact. Uh, I still believe that the sun is what illuminates the moon, but anyway, let's go to this. They say, as well as satellite measurements to find that there has been a significant drop in Earth's reflection, or albedo, over the past two decades. The Earth is now reflecting about half of what less light per uh, square meter than it was 20 years ago, with most of the drop occurring in the last three years of Earthshine data, this is according to the new study in the AGU journal Geophysical Research Letters publishes high-impact short-format reports with immediate implications spanning all Earth and space sciences. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. That's the equivalent of 0.5% decrease in the Earth's reflectance. Earth reflects about 30% of the sunlight that shines on it, 30%. The albedo drop was such a surprise to us, he said, when we analyzed the last three years of data after 17 years of nearly flat libido, this is what Philip Good, a researcher at New Jersey Institute of Technology and lead author of the new study says, he was referring to the Earthshine data from 1998 to 2017, gathered by the Big Bear Solar Observatory in Southern California. When the latest data were added to the previous years, the dimming trend became clear. Two things affect the net sunlight reaching the Earth, the sun's brightness and the planet's reflectivity. The changes in Earth's albedo observed by the researchers did not correlate with periodic changes in the sun's brightness, so that means changes in Earth's reflectiveness are caused by something on our Earth. Specifically, there has been a reduction of bright light, reflective low-lying clouds over the eastern Pacific Ocean, in the most recent years, according to satellite measurements made as part of NASA's Cloud and Earth Radiant Energy System, CERES project, that's the same area off the west coast of North and South America where increases in sea surface temperatures have been recorded because of the reversal of a climate condition called the Pacific Decadal Oscillation with likely connections to global climate change. The dimming of the Earth can also be seen in terms of how much more solar energy is being captured by Earth's climate system. Once this significant additional solar energy is in Earth's atmosphere and oceans, it may contribute to global warming as the extra sunlight is of the same magnitude as the total anthropogenic climate forcing over the, uh, the last two decades. It's actually quite concerning, said Edward Schwaterman, a planetary scientist at the University of California at Riverside, who was not involved in the new study. For some time, many scientists had hoped that a warmer Earth might lead to more clouds and higher albedo, which would then help to moderate warming and balance the climate system, he said. But this shows the opposite is true. 
and references Earth's albedo 1998 to 2017 as measured from Earthshine by P. R. Good uh, from uh, and various others geophysical research letters August 29, 2021 from SciTech Daily on bended reality. Please leave your comments on this and thank you for your support.